In this video, I'm going to give a demo of implementing matrix multiplication and validate the rules of multiplication. So this is a syllable of introduction to C programming. So program number five. So let us do it in uh, Turbo C++. So I'm going to start the Turbo C++ tool. So you need to type the program in the editor. Okay, then go to file, then file, new file, and you have to type the program here. So it will take time. So I already uh, have typed a program. I saved all my files in the Turbo C. So I created a folder BSCK104. So in that, all the programs are there. I am opening that. The program number five. <coughs> First line, program to implement uh, matrix multiplication. Okay. It is uh, include stdio.h. First line is include stdio.h. Then include stdlib.h. Int main word, open bracket. Then int m n p q i j k mat1 10 comma 10 and 10 is a two dimensional array mat2 is also two dimensional array 10 cross dimensional so actually here m and n stands for order of matrix 1 pq stands for order of matrix 2 and ij indicates some numbers for a for loop now int product we have one more are a two dimensional array we are declaring to indicate the uh, to store the answer in the product in uh, and then with a two dimensional array and initialize to zero. The next line is printf enter the order of matrix one slash and indicates new line it is optional otherwise everything will come in the single line. So better use slash n in the beginning and the end. So enter the order of matrix with a printf. Next we have to scan it. You have to enter the order. Order is m cross n, so you have to enter m value and n value. So scan a percentage d percentage d two times you have to give here. The first percentage d for uh, m to store the m value, and second percentage d is actually the value you enter is going to store it in n. So this is number of rows in the matrix one. N is the number of columns in the matrix one. Similarly one more message printf enter the order of matrix 2 so again two times scan f percentage d in percentage d first uh, is for p second is for q number of p is equal to number of rows in second matrix and q is equal to number of rows in matrix 2 so next we have to validate the rule for matrix multiplication so matrix multiplication is possible only when number of columns in the matrix 1 should be equal to number of rows in matrix 2. Suppose m cross n is the order and uh, n cross q is the second uh, matrix order. n should be equal to p then only matrix multiplication is possible. Otherwise, uh, multiplication is not possible. So that's why here you have to check condition if n not equal. This is not symbol. Okay. If n not equal to p directly you have to print a message that matrix multiplication is not possible as the matrix rule multiplication rule is violated. Uh, so according to matrix multiplication it is possible only when number of columns in the matrix 1 should be equal to number of rows in the matrix 2. So n should be equal to n. If it is not equal to then you have to print matrix multiplication is not possible. Next we have to scan the elements. So print of just now we entered only the just order. Okay, M cross N and only just we and we check the rule also. Now we'll enter the matrix one elements. So print f enter the elements of matrix one for i is equal to zero, i less than number of rows, i plus plus for j is equal to zero, j less than number of columns, j plus plus can scan f percentage d. And each time you enter it will store the element in mat1 i comma j so matrix 1 initially declared as 10 cross 10 
the two dimensional array with uh, 10 and 10 here high value and 10 value here if you enter m cross n as a 3 and 3 so 9 times it is going to scan if you enter 5 and 4 20 times it is going to scan so that's why two for loops are included here so for i is equal to 0 i less than m i plus plus for don't write semicolon here first line okay for j is equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus scan f percentage d and each time you are going to scan that will be stored in matrix i comma j so initially i value is 0 j is 0 very first element will be stored in mat 1 0 0 next to 0 1 next to 0 2 next to 0 3 like that after that once it reaches the number of n here it will come out of this and i value will be incremented next to i will be incremented to 1 so 1 comma 0 1 1 1 2 1 3 like that next again 2 0 2 1 2 2 like that depends on what the value of m and n you entered similarly same thing you repeat copy these four lines and paste here int of enter the elements of matrix 2 wherever m is there replaced by p wherever n is there replaced by q and mat1 is replaced by mat2 so same code so it is just uh, we are entering the elements of matrix 2 for i is equal to 0 i less than p a plus plus for j is equal to 0 j less than q j plus plus scan f percentage here also it is going to scan p into q times suppose 3 cross 3 9 times it is going to scan after that we have to multiply for multiplication code is this so remember m cross n and n cross m cross n and p cross q no so now you have to take first element m from the matrix one m you have to take from the matrix element second one q you have to take here same code for i is equal to 0 i less than m i plus plus for j is equal to 0 j less than q j plus plus open bracket now you have to multiply matrix elements so for k is equal to 0 k less than n okay this k is less than 1 or you can take a p because n should be equal to p only either your k less than n or k less than p if n is not equal to p we have to directly print a message that matrix multiplication is not possible now you can write here uh, k less than p or k less than n a plus plus prod of i com i and j is equal to actually plus is equal to okay here plus you have to use it is going to update the previous values initially prod i, I j is initialized to all the elements as 0 0 so now that will be added with 0 will be added with a new element which is a product of mat 1 i comma k and k comma j see here we return a code for i less than m then uh, for j is equal to 0 j less than uh, q and k also k is equal to 0 k less than n so first one i you have to take first i comma k i this i comma mat i comma i and k into mat 2 okay k and j this k and j so i'll show the matrix multiplication uh, diagram so that you'll understand we'll give the same example now So this is a matrix uh, multiplication example mat1 m is equal to and n is equal to 2 2 matrix 1 element is 1 2 3 4 matrix b okay ma mat second matrix is 5 7 6 8 if you want to multiply okay m cross n should be equal to p okay, this is a rule n should be equal to p then only you can multiply if you multiply uh, m cross n and p cross q okay the answer product will be have m cross q and the order of the product matrix is m cross q if n is not equal to p n is not equal to p then matrix multiplication is not possible if n is not equal to p matrix multiplication is not possible so here 
m cross n is 2 here also 2 cross 2 so n is equal to p so multiple multiplication and the order is again 2 cross 2 only so this is the answer so while multiplying first row first matrix okay row first row element 1 is multiplied with okay column of second matrix 1 into 5 plus 2 into 6 1 into 5 plus 2 into 6 that is the first element you can multiply with 1 and 2 with 7 and 8 1 into 7 plus 2 into 8 that is second element third element is second row first column 3 into 5 plus 4 into 6 and fourth element is second row second column 3 into 7 plus 4 into 8 so this is the answer we are going to enter the same values and we will verify whether the answer is correct or not 1 2 3 4 5 7 6 8 okay so i'm going to program now press alt enter to the total screen so this is first row okay it multiplied with column first column of this one okay i and k indicates rows and uh, columns number and you have to close the bracket properly for this for loop close the bracket is this for this for loop close the bracket is this this one close the bracket is this now multiplication is over now you have to just print the elements so this first two uh, printf matrix one so this is optional okay, if you want you can write otherwise you can skip this so printf matrix one this is same code you will repeat you can see here for i is equal to 0 i less than m i plus plus for j is equal to 0 j less than n this is order of matrix 1 m cross n so there we use the scanf in the same program in the above line we use scanf so now we are printing so while printing we have to give slash t to indicate the space between first element and second element after printing first element slash t once one tab space we are giving slash n is new line slash t is the tabs one tab space it is actually leaving and it is printing i comma j for i is equal to 0 i am less than m i plus plus for j is equal to 0 j less than n j plus plus print f percentage d slash t then mat of i comma j then print f slash n after writing each row you have to type new line slash n means new line so again it will print the second row so after completion of this again you have to print matrix 2 so that's why i told these are option print printing matrix 1 element matrix 2 elements you can avoid in the exam okay so if you are not getting output you have any error then you can skip these long these lines printf is also option printf matrix 2 elements for i is equal to 0 i less than p i plus plus for j is equal to 0 j less than q j plus plus print f percentage d slash t here i have to write mat2 same code above these five lines are same line only so there we type it m and n here p and q and instead of mat1 mat2 and again for product also you have to type the same line okay one more time print f product of the matrix is here you have to type first matrix number of rows m you have to write m cross n only you have to write m here for i is equal to 0 i less than m and in this don't write n here you have to write pre p cross q no you have to write q first uh, matrix rows second matrix column value you have to write here for i is equal to 0 i less than m i plus plus for j is equal to 0 j plus than q j plus plus print f percentage d slash t and product uh, is stored in product i comma j and after each row again you have to write print f slash n new line and after that one more slash n it will uh, print one more new line and lastly return 0 close the bracket so now compile the program run compile c alt f9 so warning 0 error 0 press any key now run 
so now I have to enter enter the order of matrix 1 so I will enter 2 space 2 so m is 2 n is 2 enter the order of matrix 2 again I will type 2 and 2 okay for example I will give 3 and 2 so that uh, m is not equal to n what happens you see 3 cross 3 m cross n is 2 cross 2 matrix 2 is p cross q is 3 cross 3 so n is not equal to so it will not actually multiply because the rule is violated so you can check the output control w o output matrix multiplication is not possible because uh, m cross n is not equal to uh, that is n is not equal to p this is m this is n this is p and this is q n is not equal to q that's why matrix multiplication is not possible now i'll give correct uh, i will rerun the code alt r run now i'll enter 2 cross 2 m and n is 2 and uh, p cross q is also 2 cross 2 so now p is equal to n is equal, uh, n is equal to p so matrix multiplication is going to happen now it will actually scan because the rule is valid now it will uh, it will ask for enter the matrix value enter the element of matrix 1 so 1 2 3 4 so 2 cross 2 means 4 elements you have to type 1 is the first uh, first column mm, first row second column element is 1 comma 2 is 2 second row first element is 3 and second row second column element is 4 press enter enter the elements of matrix 2 ok 5 7 6 8 the first row is 5 7 second row is 6 8 so now it will display the all the matrix 1 element matrix 2 elements matrix 3 product element also now to see the output control w output so you can see here we entered enter the elements of matrix 1 1 2 3 4 so matrix 1 is printed 1 2 3 4 matrix 2 we entered 5 7 6 8 so this is 5 7 6 8 and uh, matrix 3 product of the matrix is 17 23 39 53 17 23 39 53 uh, same answer we are getting here also here also 17 23 39 53 so for another example you enter uh, 3 cross 2 cross uh, a is equal to 2 cross 2 second matrix 2 cross 3 you can enter and you can check the answer uh, for different values of the data you can check the answer okay thank you